Hello everybody and welcome to the fifth in CSW Group series of webinars, My Choices. Uh, so this is a series of short webinars that we are offering which each covers a different range of uh, career development or employability and they are being offered to young people in a wide range of educational circumstances and that includes both those in mainstream schools and colleges and also those who are home educated. So today um, we are going to be hearing from our career development consultant Helen Smith and the session will be entitled Improving Your Interview Skills. Um, we are trying to make all of these sessions as interactive as possible so if any of you listening have any questions or any comments please feel free to enter them in the Q&A box and we'll do our best to deal with those at the end of the session. So uh, without further ado I will hand you over to Helen. Thank you very much for the introduction, Ollie. So I'm Helen and I'm going to talk to you today about improving your interview skills. Um, and this webinar is going to be a bit of a mixture of me talking um, and you watching some short video clips. So um, what I'd like you to do is whilst you're watching the videos, um, if you notice things, I want you to add them into that Q&A box that you can see um, if you're participating in the live webinar. So get familiar with where that Q&A box is and do write some notes in there if you feel able to contribute. Okay. So the aims of today's session are, uh, by the end of this session, you're going to have been able to evaluate examples of poor and good interview skills. You'll be able to identify positive behaviours to show at interview. And hopefully you'll feel more confident about improving your own interview skills as well. Uh, and just before we start, a bit of a recap from the previous webinar. Um, so there's various different interview situations that might happen for you. And it's just after you apply for an opportunity. Um, but that opportunity could be lots of things. So it could be a job, which we might talk about today. It could also be an apprenticeship. Um, it could be a course at a college or a training provider. But it could also be a volunteering opportunity or a work experience placement. So you have lots of different interview situations. Um, and like you heard at the last webinar there's lots of different uh, scenarios they could be in person so face to face um, it could be online live video there could be recorded video um, or maybe even a telephone interview as well so it's just best to be prepared for all of these types of situations um, one thing I will say is that if you have declared a disability on your application for one of these opportunities or just let your interviewers know in advance that you have a disability, then they may be making some adjustments to the interview process for you and just make sure you know what they're adjusting in advance so that you feel comf confident and comfortable to attend. Um, it really depends on your circumstances, um, but adjustments could include that the interviewers provide you with the questions they're going to ask you in advance of the day um, but on the further resources slide at the end of this webinar there'll be a link for you to find out more about things like that um, and the great thing about interview skills is just like other skills out there they can actually be improved so that's what we're going to talk about today you can practice them and improve those interview skills um, so next up, we're going to get straight into it and you're going to watch uh, a video clip next. Uh, and what I'm going to ask you to do is uh, watch this short video clip. So the person on the left, the lady is being interviewed. Um, what poor interview behaviours is she showing? So behaviours is just the, the way we act, the way we come across. Um, so what is she doing badly? What poor behaviours is she showing? Um, and if you uh, watch this video whilst you're doing that, if you find the Q&A, a box and start typing in your answers to share with us. Okay, let's look at this first video clip. Not here yet. I know. We're, it's not a good start. Ten minutes late. Oh. Uh, hey, how are you? Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice to you. Hi, hi. Nice to meet Jess. You. I love that name. Okay. It's awesome. <laughs> Go ahead and have a seat. Okay. Well, we're excited to have you here today and excited to get to know you a little bit. Sorry, it's a little bit late. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry about that. Well, we're glad you're here now. Thanks. So we're going to go ahead and ask a series of questions. Mm -hmm. Adam and I are going to take turns. We're going to hand the question to you so you have a chance to read through it. Okay. Take your time. Yeah. Um, answer the question thoroughly. And we'll go ahead and get started. How many questions are there? Um, there's usually about six questions. Um, now, what position was this? What was the title? This was for a um, administrative assistant position. Oh, 
No. I, I must be in the wrong place. Oh. No, um, I'm sorry. Would you like us to tell you a little bit about the position? This is what we had. I really had a rough morning. Okay. The kids, they just wouldn't get up this morning. The dog would not come in. Parking here is a real challenge. Do you like working here? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. Okay, so that was quite a short clip. So if you can write into the Q&A box if you uh, feel able, um, what poor interview behaviours was she showing? So what was she doing badly? Okay, so I'll let you uh, do that one. So what poor interview behaviours is she showing? And I've got a few suggestions from a previous webinar just to kind of kick us off uh, before you start participating. Um, someone had said that she arrived late. Yeah, that's that's awful for interview if you're arriving late, especially if you're not kind of saying apologising for it straight away and perhaps providing a really valid reason. Um, arriving late just shows that you're not really interested in that opportunity that you're being interviewed for and it's very unprofessional. Also arriving late is going to make you feel really nervous about the interview and getting started if, if you care about that opportunity that you're interviewing for. Um, there might be a time when you're thinking, oh gosh, I'm going to arrive late, you're on the bus, there's a massive traffic jam ahead but that's okay because what you will have done is taken the interviewers contact details or the organization's contact details with you and you can phone them in advance just to let them know what's happening so perhaps they can reschedule your interview for a bit later that's absolutely okay to do but try to leave as much time as possible to get to the venue Okay, so let's take a look at your, your suggestions. Um, yeah, she was really loud, wasn't she? So she was a bit too loud for the room that she was in. And there's only two other people there. So there's no need to shout as you come into the room. Um, so it's just a bit disrespectful. Um, and it was a really informal greeting, wasn't it? So she was like, hi, um, how are you? Um, it wasn't like a good afternoon or, or a good morning. Uh, my name is, um, I'm looking forward to it. However, you want to kind of uh, introduce yourself formally let's look again at your suggestions um, so yeah she was chewing gum wasn't she um, again it's just it's really disrespectful it's unprofessional it shows that you're kind of distracted and, and you don't really care um, and alongside that she was also fidgeting with her phone wasn't she so she brought her phone in she was having a look at it as the interviewer was speaking she's putting it down picking it up again maybe finishing off a text message or reading a news article whatever she was doing um, it just looked like she was really distracted and she wasn't there for the right reasons and you know if I was the interviewer I'd want to hire the person that's really interested in the job if they have the kind of required knowledge skills and experience so yeah fidgeting with her phone and chewing gum um, okay let's look at that Q&A for more suggestions um, she definitely complained a lot at the end didn't she um, so she was sighing as well um, she was having negative comments about her kids and the dogs it's not relevant to the interviewers they don't want to know about that and they don't want to interview someone who's really negative uh, about things uh, another thing, uh, as well as the sighing, was her body language, so how her body looked to them. Um, so she was kind of slouched back in a chair. She, ha she didn't really give eye contact very well because she was so distracted by her phone. Um, so a real lack of eye contact with this one. So that was bad body language uh, that she was demonstrating. Um, and certain enough, she was really unprepared. So she didn't even know what job they were interviewing for. So it's really important that you go into these uh, interviews really well prepared. Okay, um, so let's summarize what we've just talked about. So what poor interview behaviors was she showing? Um, so she arrived late, appeared distracted, she was chewing gum and fidgeting, and made negative comments and she was sighing and had that poor body language and lack of eye contact. So those are all the things that you've now seen that you need to avoid when you go to interview. And let's move on. So let's look at the same scenario again. So again, she's being interviewed by the same people, but this is a whole fresh start for her. And I want you to tell me what good interview behaviors is she showing? So what is she doing well? So again, it's a short clip and write any answers that you want to in the Q&A box. So what good interview behaviours is she showing? Good morning. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Hi, my name's Dawn. Hi, Adam. Nice to meet you, Adam. Hi, Dawn. I'm Jesse. Hi, nice Jesse. to meet you. Nice have a seat. Seat. Thank you. Well, we're excited to have a chance to get to know you a little bit more and learn about your background and experiences. I'm excited to be here. Good. 
We are going to take turns, Adam and I, asking questions, and we've got a set of questions here that we are going to hand out to you just prior to asking. And uh, take your time, read through the question and answer it, and um, we'll go ahead and get started. Wonderful. Thank you. Okay, so that was the next clip. And I want you to let me know in the Q&A box, what good interview behaviours is she showing? Okay, so again, I've got something to start us up from a previous uh, webinar. Um, she had the good eye contact this time, didn't she? Um, so it's, it's important to give the eye contact because it shows you're interested um, and it shows you can come across well to other people. Um, now, it's not always easy for us to give eye contact uh, for all of us, but you can have a search online to see how you might be able to do it better um, because you can give people eye contact for a little bit. You can make sure you're looking at all of your interviewers and then you can kind of glance at your notes or take a glass of water to pause away from the eye contact so there's different ways of doing it where you can still show that you have good eye contact okay so let's look at that Q&A box uh, and see what else you're coming up with here okay um, so she was really enthusiastic wasn't she um, so it just showed she was uh, wanting that opportunity that she was interviewing for she was there and ready uh, she was smiling um, and she was nodding so the nodding and the good eye contact that's again and the smiling that's all of your good body language that she was showing there um, she certainly was professional so she was dressed well um, she was sat up in her chair a lot better she wasn't kind of slouching away like last time um, and she was professional she gave that kind of nice warm formal greeting at the beginning and it started off professional she wasn't complaining about her kids and the dogs or anything else so it is all about that interview for that opportunity and about her showing herself in the best way possible um, she also in that first impression had a really good first impression with the warm formal greeting but she also gave a good handshake as well and again you may not have practiced giving handshakes before um, try doing that at home and just checking that it comes across as professional and you're not just doing it for the first time when you get into that interview scenario and if you you're not sure about shaking someone's hand um, don't offer your hand out to them but obviously if they offer their hand to you then you'd go in for that handshake but it sounds silly but try practicing at home with people that you trust um let's look at that q a box for any more okay um she was really well prepared wasn't she so she brought a folder of notes with her and a few people before have said oh well, isn't bringing notes with you cheating um because you're kind of looking over them it's not cheating at all it just shows you're really well prepared now i wouldn't bring loads of notes in with you for you to read through so to read prepared answers to questions or anything like that but maybe just some bullet points of some experiences or skills that you have that match the opportunity you're interviewing for to make sure that you cover them in the interview so if you bring some notes with you it's just a case of briefly looking down at them just to remind you of those bullet points um, but also you might be bringing some questions that you've prepared in advance to ask the interviewers at the end of the interview as well which shows that you're well prepared and you're interested in the opportunity okay so you can take a folder of notes with you as long as you're not just reading through them Okay, so let's summarize that one. So what good interview behaviors was she showing? Um, so she uh, did a warm formal greeting, good eye contact, she was smiling and enthusiastic, so that good body language, and she was professional and prepared. So those are all the things you want to demonstrate at interview. Um, and even though they were really short video clips, you may never have seen someone being interviewed before, so it was useful to have a look at. And you've been able to identify the poor interview behaviours to avoid and the positive interview behaviours to show at interview. And like you saw with that first impression in that second video, it's really important, um, but you need to continue showing those positive behaviors throughout the whole interview as well um, and by arriving early and just making time to relax yourself and calm any normal interview nerves that's just going to help you feel prepared and ready and it will help you to feel confident in your interview as well so that's a top tip so now let's briefly look at answering interview questions um, 
you've got that good first impression down, down and ready, um, you've practiced it at home with someone you trust, so then you can research questions that they may ask you and prepare your answers. And you can find out more about typical interview questions from the further resources slide that I'm going to direct you to at the end of the session. And you can prepare your answers, you know, you can practice saying them out loud, um, it could be in front of the mirror, or if you feel a bit silly, you might be able to record yourself on video and play it back. Um, just like you looked at those clips, you could consider how you could improve your answers and what you did well. Um, I'd say don't over practice because you don't want to sound like you're acting, um, but you could ask a trusted person to do a practice interview with you. Um, at interview, a typical question at the beginning might be, tell us about yourself or why do you want this job? or voluntary opportunity or why do you want to be on this course so that's a kind of like settling in question so just be prepared to answer something like that in case they ask you and again on the further resources slide I've got some uh, video guides there for you if you're thinking oh I don't really know what to say um, there's some resources for you at the end of this webinar um, they may ask you skills based questions during the interview and they're popular to ask at interview because they explore your skills and experience that you've got that are relevant to the opportunity. Um, questions like this might start with tell us about a time when you have and it could be worked well in a group to get a task done. Tell us about a time when you have dealt with a customer complaint. Tell us about a time when you've set a goal and achieved it. So it just depends on what they're asking for in the job description or what kind of person they want on the course or what kind of person they're looking for for the voluntary opportunity or whatever it is. So have a look through that, that description of the person that they want and see what kind of questions they might ask you. Um, it's really easy to waffle on these questions and not really answer it. Um, so let's take a look at an example of how to answer a skills based interview question. So let's look at tell us about a time when you've had to plan something. And you might be thinking, oh, I don't think I've planned anything before. That's OK, because um, trusted people can actually help you think of the experiences that you've had. Um, a great way to try and structure your interview answer to this question is by using the CAR technique. So C A R. So the C stands for context, so briefly explain the scenario. The A is for action, so explain what you did. And the R is for result, so share what happened because of your action. Um, so tell us about a time when you had to plan something. I might say uh, the context is I planned a surprise birthday party for my grandma. The action, I talked with my dad and sister about what we wanted. Where I organised a place big enough to have the party. I planned a guest list and emailed out invitations and I bought ingredients to make enough food for everyone and I bought decorations. The result, uh, the party was well planned, guests turned up on time, uh, there was enough food for everyone and grandma was surprised. So there are experiences that you will have had already that might be able to answer some of these skills based questions. But if you're feeling like you don't have many real life examples, now's the time to start thinking about planning in some experience. Um, it could be through a work experience placement, a volunteering opportunity. Um, it could just be getting skills at a social or activity club like a drama group or cooking classes or a sports club. club. Um, there's loads of options but you might need to be creative during the restrictions um, if it isn't possible to do things in person. Okay, so let's just summarise. So during this session, you evaluated examples of poor and good interview skills. You identified positive behaviours to show at interview. Uh, and hopefully you now feel more confident about improving your own interview skills. So let's summarise what we covered in this session into five top tips for improving your interview skills. So one, arrive early and take time to relax beforehand. Two, be yourself, but on a really good day and make a good first impression. Three, show your confidence and enthusiasm and use that positive body language that we talked about. Four, prepare your answers to potential questions and practice saying them out loud. And five, finish the interview on a positive note and ask questions at the end of the interview. OK, so I'll leave it on this further resources slide for a few moments just so you can take a screenshot or take a photo of these uh, web links because there's some great resources in there. There's some interview advice that's written. Um, there's some video guides. There's a bit about disability and your rights during the interview process. And a certain one for me is when I get a bit nervous for an interview, ways to relax before an interview. Uh, and getting nervous is really normal and it happens to all of us. So do take a moment to look at that. Um, and thank you for listening today. 
and participating. Um, and just checking with Ollie before you go, are there any questions left to answer? Uh, thanks, Helen. Uh, I'm just looking at the Q&A box. I don't think we've got any additional questions. And I, th I think you've covered quite a lot of the most commonly asked ones there in any case. Uh, but uh, no, nothing else. So thank you very much. Thank you. OK, <clears throat> so thank you very much, Helen. So we hoped that you enjoyed that webinar. Um, if you're able to attend our next one, that will be uh, this afternoon at three o'clock and it will be about social media, how to stay safe online and use it to your advantage. So thanks again to Helen. Um, if you're able to, um, you will be asked to offer feedback on this session. Um, if you have the time to do that, that's uh, very, very useful for us. Um, other than that, um, thank you very much for attending and we hope to see you next time.